let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you see it. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic school bus. Navigate a nostril. I'm on the magic school bus. Make a plane turn to. Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. You and your terrific ideas, Keisha. You have a better idea, Ralphie? Our mission was to tell the entire universe what air can do. And all we've got to put in the space capsule is an empty jar. Uh-uh-uh. Not empty. It's filled with air. So let's just give this jar to the space guys to put in the capsule and wait for blast off. But Keisha, it doesn't even have a top. Attention, attention, attention. attention. All, space all space projects, projects are, now are now being loaded, loaded for launch. For launch. <laughs> That's really cool. It demonstrates what water can do. Wanna see? The water in clouds makes falling rain and waterfalls and rivers. It can also turn water into Hey, and, if and what have you guys made for the Walkerville Space Capsule? Well, we have this, uh, actually we, uh, we're not quite finished with it yet. Why couldn't our mission be water, like Miss Rivers' class? Yeah, at least water does something. That's fantastic! It's called Everything You've Always Wanted to Know About Rocks. Neat, huh? Solid! It's great! Really amazing! Um, what's your project? We're stuck with air, and that's not fair! Hey, we can write a poem! Carlos! You guys better go ahead. We, uh, we've got some final touches to make. Final touches? We've got nothing to work with. Zip, air doesn't do anything. Yoo-hoo! Good morning, class! Miss Rizzle! Success, class! I found the perfect top for your jar! That's great, Miss Frizzle, but we're really stuck on air! Oh, me too, Keisha. It just blows me away. Just think, years from now on a small planet by a distant star, some curious extraterrestrial will open the Walkerville space capsule and discover the wonders of air. All thanks to you, class. But we don't know what to make that shows what air can do when air can't do anything. Oh, really? Well, as my old roommate, Ariel View, used to say, nothing clears your head like a little fresh air. Huh? To the bus! But Miss Frizzle, we can't go on a field trip. We'll miss the launch. Besides, I'm hungry. No problem, Arnold. It's not launch time yet. <laughs> but here's a seaweedy to tie you over. Seat belts, class! I don't know, Arnold. Maybe I should have stayed home today. You too? Air it out, Liz. Where are we? I wish I knew. I'm not sure, but I... I think we're inside the pickle jar. Talk about a jarring experience! Carlos! Now what? How are we gonna get our air project on the space capsule? There must be some mistake, Miss Frizzle. Mistake? 
As in error? As in giant! What do we always do? To the bus! Not again. Come on, Arnold! Coming! Time to hit the jar, Vacator Liz. Whoopsie! Oh no! The jar Vacator's gone kaflooey! Not to despair, Phoebe. There's more than one way to leave a jar. Mm, volcanoes, no. Logs, no. The digestive system, no. Ah! Oh! Here it is. The how to get out of a pickle jar when you're the size of a snail escape manual. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh. What does it say? What does it say? Follow me. It says open compartment seven. Mm, five, six, seven. It's the how to get out of a pickle jar when you're the size of a snail escape kit. Open it, Miss Frizzle! Hurry! Whatever you say, Keisha. Whoa! Yay! Wow, this is totally cool. Check out the big clown. Look how it moves when I wave my hand through it. Yeah, but what is it? Checking, checking, ah. Uh, it's called Extraordinaire, and it's colored pink so we can see it. What else does it say? It says, use the Extraordinaire to help you escape through the top of the jar. What happens if we can't escape? Ah, uh, nothing much. We just won't be able to put anything into the space capsule. We'll miss the blast off of the century. And we'll be stuck inside this jar forever. No way! There's plenty of time to figure out how to get out of here. Attention, attention, attention. 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 The, space the space capsule will be launched, will be launched in exactly, exactly ten, 10 minutes. minutes. Ten minutes? Oh, 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 oh. minutes till launch? We can't get out of here in 10 minutes. With nothing but this pink stuff to work with, we won't be out of here for 10 years. Well, as my cousin Locksmith always says, if there's a way in, there must be a way out. You mean it's time to take chances, make mistakes, and see what Extraordinaire can do? Oh, Arnold, I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, guys, if we have to use Extraordinaire to escape, we better see what it can do before it all disappears. Hey! Man, this stuff moves like crazy. I caught some. Yeah, but it's getting away. It's still getting away. According to the escape manual, Extraordinaire spreads out in all directions. <laughs> Look! Liz found a way to collect Extraordinaire in a turkey baster! We need more than a turkey baster to capture all this stuff. Ha! Ah, just the thing! A thin, stretchy rubber glove. Let's snare some Extraordinaire. Hey, this is fun! Quick, seal the glove off before the extraordinaire escapes. Anybody have a rubber band or something we can tie this off with? No. Uh-uh. Nothing. D.A., your hair bands. But these are my favorites. Attention, Ms. Frizzle's class. We are still waiting for your project. The hair project. D.A., the success of our mission depends on your rubber bands. I guess it's a small price to pay. DA, your ponytails can stay in without. Never mind that. Pull tighter! I've got to hand it to you, class. You've caught and trapped your fair share of extraordinaire. And it sure is comfy. Like 
floating on air. You got that right, Phoebe. It's the extraordinaire that's holding you up. Let me try. You see that? When Ralphie pressed down on the extraordinaire, it pressed up on Phoebe. Yeah, and it bounced her up. Just like it did Liz. An erudite observation, Arnold. Look, you can push extraordinaire around anywhere you want. And when you do that, it gets redder, too. That's because more and more of it is getting squeezed into a smaller space. Only when you push it into a smaller and smaller space, it pushes back harder and harder. It's like trying to squeeze down a spring. The harder you push, the more the spring pushes back. That's it! Maybe if we push all the extraordinaire from the fingers into the big part of the glove, it'll get even springier. And then if we jump on it, we can bounce somebody all the way up to the top of this jar. Huh? Not me! Since I suggested this project, I'll do it. You guys do the rolling, we'll do the jumping. Come on, Beep! <laughs> rolling the ring finger. We've got this finger. Nothing like being a role model, right, Liz? <laughs> Remember, Quiche, when you get out, don't forget to come back for the rest of us. I won't. Ready, Wanda? Phoebe? Ready! When I count to three, jump. One, two, three! <laughs> now that's what I call an extraordinary push. Uh-oh. <laughs> Man, air sure is pushy stuff. Come on, guys, don't give up. I almost made it. There must be another way. You know, the more extraordinaire we squeezed in from the fingers, the bigger the rest of the glove got. So maybe if we squeeze the rest of it in, the glove will get big enough to lift Keisha all the way to the top. An airtight plan if I ever heard one. This is gonna take forever. Attention, Attention again, again, Ms. Frizzle's, Frizzle's class. class. The space capsule, capsule will launch in exactly, exactly six, six minutes. minutes. And we, and we still, still do not do have, have your project. project. If only we had a pump to suck up the extraordinaire faster. Did someone say pump? Thanks, Miss Frizzle. This air pump is just what we need to cram that glove full of extraordinaire. My pleasure, Ralphie. Okay, guys, time to get pumped. Extraordinaire hose in place. Pump holes in place. Pumpers ready? Ready! Start pumping! Raise! Pump! Raise! Pump! Raise! Pump! Raise! Pump. It's Pump. working! Raise. The extraordinaire Pump. is making the glove get bigger! Pump. The more extraordinaire we pump into the glove, the bigger it gets. Raise, pump, raise, pump, raise. It's working great, guys. Only one problem. Even if we get to the space capsule on time, we still don't have anything to put into it. We'll worry about that later. But let's just get out of here. Raise, pump, raise, pump. We've captured just about all of the extraordinaire. But we need help! The more extraordinaire we get into the glove, the harder it is to pump! Raise! Pump! Press on air and it presses back! That's air pressure for you!
end. The glove couldn't take the pressure, so it popped. Listen up, Listen Miss up, Frizzles, Frizzles Blast. Blast. The space capsule will blast, blast on, on in three, in three minutes. minutes. Three minutes? This, this is, your, is last your last chance. chance. Read me. Read me. <sighs> We're sunk. Now the whole universe is going to think we don't care about air. I found this cork pop in the escape kit. What are you going to do, Wanda? Pop us out of here? She could if we were corks. Arnold, you're a genius. I was only kidding, Keisha. I don't want to be a cork. Watch. When you push this plunger, it squeezes the air inside the tube so hard that the air pushes the cork out. Pop. Just like the Extraordinaire did to the glove. I got it. All we need to escape from here is a giant cork popper. Yeah. If we had a big, strong air tank, we could squeeze it full of Extraordinaire to build up a whole lot of pressure. Then release that Extraordinaire so it pushes into the cork popper, and the pressure blasts the kid right up through the top of this jar. Yes. Great idea. Except for one little problem. What? We used up all the extraordinaire. Oh no! That's terrible! Now what? Wait a minute! Did you see that? You popped the cork popper again! Exactly! But I popped it without using extraordinaire. Are you trying to tell us that? You got it! All I used was the ordinary air around us. You mean everything extraordinaire can do, ordinary air can do? Yes. Even though you can't see it working, air is amazing. By the way, Ralphie, I love how you popped that question. Attention. Attention. Please, Please clear, clear the area. area. I, repeat. I repeat. Please, Please clear, clear the area, area for blast off. Blast off. Uh, now that we know all these cool things about air, we're too late to get it into the capsule. Hold on, Ralphie. What would happen if we had enough air pressure to blast me really, really high? So high, I could catch up with the space capsule and put something in it from us about air. A daring plan, Keisha. But what are we going to put in the capsule? How about the cork popper? Good idea, DA. But I wish we had something more. I told you before, write a poem. Oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Air's looking at you, kids. One giant cork popper coming at you. Wow. wow! One barrel extra large. But we don't have a tank big enough to hold all the air we need. Attention. Attention! The Walkerville Space Capsule is ready for blast-off! We need high-pressure pumps to pump the air into the tank. Roger! Three high-pressure pumps coming up! We still need something for you to ride in. A, a cork. You mean something for us to ride in, Ralphie? A pod for two, Ms. Frizzle. One pod for two. Let's go! Court popper ready, Ms. Frizzle. Prepare to pump class. Our mission, Ralphie, should we choose to accept it, is to make sure the rest of the universe gets the true story about air. One minute to launch. One, One minute. minute. Okay, class, it's time to take chances, get messy, and pump. Raise! Pump! Raise! Pump! Gaining air pressure. We will have launch, launch, launch in 10, ten seconds. seconds. Faster, guys! Faster! Raise! Pump! Raise! Pump! Liz, stand by to release the pressure valve. We have maximum pressure. Five, Five seconds. seconds. Four, four, three, three, two, two one. one. 
May the air pressure be with you. Just one more adjustment, class. I knew we could do it! I knew we could do it! Uh, just one thing, Keisha. What are we gonna put into the rocket when we get there? Carlos was right! A poem! Air is here, air is there. Down on Earth, it's everywhere. What it does is hard to tell, because air does invisible really well. Push air in all snug and tight. It pushes out with all its might. But best of all, when you need a ride, air under pressure can provide. Contact! They've linked up with the space capsule. Careful, Ralphie. Give me the cork popper. Ralphie, don't forget the poem. Way to go, Ralphie. Mission accomplished. As Miss Frizzle always says, Woohoo! Would. And you know why? Because just like air, my class works best under pressure. Miss Frizzle! <laughs> Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? 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 What's up? Magic School Bus Produce Air speaking. <laughs> well, Mr. Produce Air, when it comes to the truth, your air show has some major leaks. And I bet you're going to point them out, right? <gasps> That's what I do. Air up the facts. <laughs> to begin with, whoever heard of pink air? It's ridiculous. You're right, but since air is invisible, we made up the extraordinaire so everyone could see the air our kids had to work with. And that business about using air pressure to blast Keisha and Ralphie into the sky to meet the space capsule? Unreal! Not really. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen someone fired out of a cannon at the circus? Sure. Well, some of the cannons use air pressure to do it. Although I bet nobody's used air pressure to blast two kids thousands of feet in the air. You're right, because it's impossible. You just can't get that kind of air pressure. But I bet you can make a bottle rocket that uses air pressure to shoot hundreds of feet in the air. Maybe, but only if you use a combination of air pressure and water. And that makes a difference? You bet. It's the strength of the air pressure pushing out the water that rockets the bottle up into the air. How clever. All I know is, when it comes to just making stuff up, it seems like the sky's the limit with you guys. Which is why we always end the show with a disclaimer. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for calling. Stop your bones 
track to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get better. 